好，去到二零二三年嘅 MC 第十九條啦，係有關於耳仔嘅。今次咧，佢就問翻我哋有關於耳煙管，如果佢係阻塞咗啦，耳下啦，邊一個結構嘅功能咧係會直接地受到影響咧 ？Directly 喎。咁今次呢條題目咧就係考翻我哋有關於耳煙管啦，佢自己嘅位置啦，同埋佢嘅功能先嘅。咁耳煙管喺邊度咧？佢就喺中耳嘅部分啦。佢就將我哋嘅中耳同埋煙咧去連接住嘅。當我哋吞煙嘅時候啦，例如吞口水啦，空氣就可以通過耳煙管進入或者離開中耳啦，就令到中耳內嘅壓力咧同埋大氣壓力係相等啦。嗱，根據呢句説話咧，其實個答案咧都已經幫我哋鎖定咗係喺鼓膜噶啦。因為點解啊？鼓膜嘅其中一面咧就係、是、我哋嘅中耳啦。而鼓膜嘅另一面咧就係耳道，而耳道接駁住嘅就係大氣啦。所以鼓膜啦就係我哋呢條題目嘅重點咯。如果鼓膜兩邊嘅壓力唔平均，鼓膜就會鼓起咗。鼓起咗嘅鼓膜咧係唔能夠隨住聲波變化而自由振動嘅，就令到我哋咧唔能夠清楚咁聽到聲啦。咁所以答案咧都呼之欲出，就係鼓膜啦。因為而家耳煙管就係塞鬼住咗。如果塞咗嘅話啦，即使我哋吞口水啊、打喊路啊，啲空氣咧都唔能夠係隨意咁樣進出到我哋嘅耳煙管入到去中耳或者離開中耳嘅。咁即係話啦，喺鼓膜嘅兩邊嘅部分啦，佢哋個氣壓咧。佢哋都不能夠被平衡得到，變唔到相等嘅，咁所以個鼓膜咧就會鼓起咗，從而就影響我哋嘅聽覺啦。咁其餘啦，三個答案，耳窩啊、聽小骨啦、啊、攣完窗啊，係咪完全唔關事咧？其實又唔係、啊，因為一切都係由鼓膜開始嘅。鼓膜嘅震動就會撞到聽小骨，聽小骨嘅震動就會撞到攣完窗，將個震動帶入去耳窩嗰處，從而啦就令到我哋產生到一個神經脈衝咧，就 send 上個腦嗰處啦，從而就有聽覺啦。咁所以你話聽小骨、攣完窗、耳窩係咪真係完全唔關事？唔係，佢哋都係受影響。不過呢，佢哋係間接地受影響，唔似個耳膜呢係直接地受影響啦。其實過往咧都問咗唔少嘅題目呢係有關於耳仔嘅結構啦，同埋嘅功能嘅。尤其是啦，我最喜歡嘅呢，自不然就係二零一八年嘅呢條體病學敗屙啦。嗰次呢就講貝多芬聽唔到聲。今次咧就講耳煙管失咗，其實都係睇病學敗屙嚟嘅，無啦啦點解會失呢？例如啦，你傷風感冒，有鼻水，太多黏液嘅分泌啦，都有機會塞住咗呢個耳煙管嘅喎。Two two three MC question nineteen is about the ear structure and the function. It's asking that the blockage of the eustachian tube will directly affect the functioning of the following structure: cochlea, eardrum, ear bones, and oval window. So this question is checking us the concept about the location and the function of the eustachian tube. For the eustachian tube, where is it? It is in the middle ear, and it can connect the middle ear to the pharynx, and it allows the air to enter and leave the middle ear, so that the pressure between the middle ear and the atmosphere can be equalized. And it is usually done during swallowing. So according to this paragraph, our target should be the eardrum, because for the eardrum on one side it is the middle ear, and on the other side it is the auditory canal, and for the auditory canal is connected to the atmosphere. Therefore, we can focus on the eardrum and know more about this for the revision. If the pressure on both sides of the eardrum is unequal, the eardrum will approach. And the approaching eardrum cannot vibrate freely in response to sound wave, and we cannot hear clearly. That's the idea. So, according to this additional information, we can confirm that eardrum is the answer because for the eardrum is condition or pouching or not pouching inwards, pouching outwards. Is really controlled by the air pressure. Is it equalized on both sides of the eardrum? We know that the eustachian tube is blocked. Therefore, the air cannot enter or leave the middle ear freely. Means that the air pressure in the middle ear and the atmosphere they cannot be equalized, and then it will directly affect the functioning of the eardrum. So, what about A C D? Are they the structure irrelevant to this question? Not really, because the whole story starts from the eardrum. When the eardrum vibrate, it will 
transmit the vibration to the ear bones, and then the ear bones will transmit and amplify the vibration to the oval window, and then the oval window will transmit the vibration to the cochlea, and then the cochlea it will generate the nerve impulse and then send it to the brain, and then produce the hearing sensation. So you can see that cochlea, ear bones, and oval window they are affected, but they are not directly affected by the blockage of the eustachian tube. See that there were different questions about the ear structure and the ear function, especially my favorite question is about the disease approach. And this time is asking the blockage of the eustachian tube is also affect our hearing sensation. So watch the video for revision.